as the Louisiana Clippers host the Houston Rockets, we take a look at Chris Paul's legacy as a Clipper and the warm return he should expect. It feels like just yesterday we were watching video online of Blake Griffin and Dander Jordan giddily jumping saying, Lob City. The news broke to the team that the improbable had happened. Chris Paul was coming to Louisiana, and not in a gold and purple jersey. In one of the most controversial decisions in NBA history David Stern had vetoed a trade that would send Camp 3 to the Lakers. GM Neil Olshey saw his opening and swooped in. Just like that camp was a clipper in the New Orleans Hornets received Eric Gordon, Chris Kamen, and Al Farouk Aminu. That was December 14, 2011. So much has happened since then. The Clippers never saw the finals, Chris Paul now plays with Eric Gordon, and neither are in Louisiana. This past offseason, Paul let the Clippers front office know he was ready for a change and had no plans on coming back to Louisiana. He informed them of his intentions of signing with Houston in order to give the Clippers a chance of making a trade. Did Chris ever win a ring with the Clips? No. Did he leave the fans heartbroken by leaving? Yes. Did he sometimes create a tense locker room that made the team uncomfortable at times? Probably. Should he expect a warm welcome full of cheers and adoration when he returns to Staples? Absolutely.